You know those classic PS2 games you grew up with? What if I told you that you can play them again, but this time in full HD on your computer or laptop? In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the PCS X2 emulator step by step. We'll cover everything from downloading it to tweaking the settings for buttery smooth gameplay, even if you've never used an emulator before. PCS X2 is open source and free PS2 emulator, and it's totally legal to use. The only thing you will need a couple of files, like the BIOS and your game files. Don't worry, I'll explain exactly what you need and how to get it later in the video. By the end, you'll be running your favorite PS2 classics without lag, glitches, or complicated setup. All right, let's jump into the setup. First, open your browser and in Google search type PCS X2. Then head over to the official PCS X2 website. That's PCSX2.net. PCSX2 is one of the most stable and feature-rich PS2 emulators out there. And most of your favorite titles will run great right out of the box with the default settings. Click on Download. On the Downloads page, you'll notice two options, Stable Release and Nightly Builds. The Nightly Builds include the newest features and improvements, but they can sometimes have bugs. If you're just starting out, I recommend going with the Stable Release for the smoothest experience. PCSX2 works on Windows 10 and 11, Linux, and Mac OS. For this tutorial, I'll be downloading the Windows installer. Once the download finishes, simply run the installer file. When the setup window appears, select the first option, Standard Installation, and then click Next then simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the emulator installation. Once the installation is complete, you can launch the emulator. The first time you launch PCSX2, you'll see a setup wizard. You can select your preferred language and theme, you can select whatever you like. Then click the next button. Next, it will ask you for the PS2 BIOS file. This is a PlayStation 2 system software and without it, the emulator can't run any games, so it's essential. For legal reasons, PCSX2 doesn't include BIOS files, so you'll need to provide your own, dumped from a real PS2 console. If you don't have one, you can search online for guides on how to obtain it. Once you have your BIOS file, place it in PCSX2's default BIOS folder. Then click the Refresh List button, and your BIOS should appear in the list. Select it to continue. After that, you'll need to add your game directory. PCSX2 works best with games in ISO format, so start by placing all your ISO files into a dedicated folder on your PC. In PCSX2, click Add Game Directory and select that folder. The emulator will ask for permission to scan that folder, and once approved, your games will appear in the emulator's game directory. Simply click Yes to proceed. Next, you'll need to choose your game controller. While you can play PS2 games on your PC with a keyboard and mouse, using a controller will give you a much more authentic and enjoyable experience. PCSX2 supports Xbox 360, Xbox One, DualShock, and many other compatible controllers. You can either let the emulator map the buttons automatically or customize them manually in the settings later. PCSX2 is now fully set up with your PS2 BIOS and all your games should appear in the emulator's main window. To configure your controls, go to Settings, then Controllers, and select Controller Port 1 for Player 1. If you're using a PlayStation controller, make sure DualShock mode is enabled. Then, map each button, square, triangle, L1, R2, analog sticks, and so on, by clicking on them and pressing the corresponding button on your controller. If you're using a keyboard, default bindings are already set, but you can remap them to your liking. PCSX2 also allows you to enhance game visuals. Head over to Graphics. Under Renderer, you can choose from Direct3D11, Direct3D12, Vulkan, or OpenGL. For most Windows users, Direct3D11 or Vulkan works best. I'll go with Vulkan since I'm using an AMD Radeon 590 graphic card. If you encounter any graphical glitches, switch to another renderer. From the adapter drop-down, make sure your dedicated graphics card is selected. You can also adjust the aspect ratio. By default, PS2 games were made for 4x3, 
but PCSX2 supports widescreen through patches. Set the ratio to 16 by 9, or whatever matches your monitor, and enable widescreen patches so compatible games display correctly without stretching. Next is internal resolution. This determines how much the game's original resolution is upscaled. Since PS2 games typically run at around 480p, increasing this to 2x or 3x will give you HD or full HD graphics. If you have a powerful GPU, you can push it to 4x or 6x for near 4K quality. Choose a resolution your system can handle without lag. For even smoother visuals, enable texture filtering, and for anisotropic filtering, you can set it to 2x or 4x if you have good graphic card, otherwise off default. These make textures look cleaner at higher resolutions. Audio settings can be left at default. Under memory cards, you can create a new virtual memory card, set its size, and save your game progress there. These files are stored in the documents PCSX2 folder, so they're easy to back up. Once everything is configured, close the settings window. Now it's game time. Just double click on any title in your library to start playing. Alright, the game is up and running and the setup is all done. But if your game feels laggy or your FPS is stuck between 20 to 30, you will need to apply patches to fix the FPS and other performance issues. First, close the game. Then, right click on your game and select Properties. Open the Patches tab where you'll find a list of available patches. Tick all the boxes. This will fix the widescreen ratio, boost FPS and resolve other in-game issues. I am applying patches to Need for Speed Underground and GTA San Andreas game. Once done, close the properties window and relaunch the game for a smoother experience. This time, I'm playing the popular PS2 title GTA San Andreas. I'll skip ahead through the loading screen. And as you can see, the game now runs perfectly. No lag, no issues. Before you exit, make sure to save your game. PCX2 supports both in-game saves and save states, allowing you to pick up exactly where you left. That's it for today's guys. You've now learned how to play PS2 games on your PC using the PCX2 emulator. Thanks to its high compatibility, you can enjoy thousands of PS2 games on your computer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your favourite PS2 game in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video.